Okay, so this video is kind of a part two of our add, subtract, multiply, divide complex numbers in the form a plus bi, um, which is sometimes called standard form, sometimes called rectangular form. Uh, so what we want to do is divide this time. So if you don't know how to do this, you're just not going to be able to figure it out. Um, so someone pretty much needs to tell you that to divide complex numbers, what you actually do is um, multiply by what's called the conjugate of the denominator. So if our denominator is 3 plus 2i, the conjugate of that will be 3 minus 2i. So to find the conjugate of a complex number, what we do is we change the sign in between the real and imaginary parts. Um, so let's do that. We're going to multiply the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator, both by 3 minus 2i. So it ends up looking like this times, and then the quantity 3 minus 2i in the denominator, 3 minus 2i in the numerator. So this now is just two multiplication problems which is why it was so important to get really good at the multiplication stuff. So what we do is 6 times the quantity 3 minus 2i, and then plus 5i times the quantity 3 minus 2i. So remember, we're using the distributive property, and we're going to do this in the denominator as well. So we get 3 times the quantity 3 minus 2i, and then plus 2i times the quantity 3 minus 2i. All right, so we have that. And now what we're going to do is some distribution. So 6 times 3 is 18 and 6 times negative 2i is negative 12i, and then we're going to do 5i times that whole quantity. So 5i times 3 is 15i, and 5i times negative 2i is negative 10i squared. And remember, i squared comes up a lot. i squared is negative 1, so we're going to end up replacing that. Uh, let's expand the denominator. So 3 times the quantity 3 minus 2i gives us 9 minus 6i, and then 2i times the quantity 3 minus 2i gives us plus 6i, and minus 4i squared. So let's see what we can combine here. Um, 18, and then when I combine the negative 12i and 15i, I get plus 3i. And then uh, negative 10 times i squared is negative 10 times negative 1, which is just plus 10. So I get a plus 10 there. Um, 9. Now the i terms here actually have canceled out. Minus 6i plus 6i, they're gone. And then I have uh, minus 4i squared, but i squared is negative 1, so that becomes plus 4. And now I can combine terms in the numerator to get 28 plus 3i over 13. And I'm not really done because typically you would write your answer as 28 over 13 plus 3 over 13 times i. I'm going to put a box around that. Now what you might have noticed, or you probably didn't, but you could have noticed, is that something happened when I multiplied a uh, complex number by its conjugate. So let's take a look at that kind of in general. So let's say that I take the complex number a plus bi, and I multiply by its conjugate, which is a minus bi. And what I'm going to do here is expand by using the distributed property. So a times the quantity a minus bi, and then plus bi times the quantity a minus bi. And distribute, so I get a squared minus a bi plus a bi minus b squared i squared. And if you look at that, the middle terms just cancel right out. So I have a squared um, minus b squared, and then i squared is really negative 1. Um, so I end up with a squared plus b squared. That's going to happen every time you multiply a complex number by its conjugate. So a plus bi times a minus bi is always going to be a squared plus b squared. It worked out in the example to the left. Um, and let's do another example, and we'll actually use that to kind of save some time. So say I have 6 minus 3i, and I want to multiply it by 2, uh, sorry, divide it by 2 plus 5i. Well, to do that, I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate. So I'm going to end up with something like this. So times 2 minus 5i over 2 minus 5i. So that's just multiplying by 1. So it changes the way it looks, but it doesn't change the value. Um, so to do this, in the numerator, we're going to use the distributive property, 6 and then the quantity 2 minus 5i and then minus 3i, and the quantity 2 minus 5i. And in the denominator, we're going to use this property. So we have a plus, uh, a plus bi times a minus bi. We just found out it's always going to be a squared plus b squared. So it's going to be 2 squared plus 5 squared. So 4 plus 25. And we're almost done. So we get 12 minus 30i when we do the distribution on the top left. And then we're going to get minus 6i, and then plus 15i squared when we do the distribution on the top right. And the denominator is just 29. And now we are kind of collecting terms. So 12, and then minus 36i. 
And then i squared, remember, is negative 1, so plus 15i squared becomes minus 15. And finally, sort of, we get negative 3 minus 36i over 29. But remember, we want to write our final answer as negative 3 over 29, and then minus 36 over 29i. All right, and uh, that's two examples of dividing complex numbers that are in rectangular form, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.